Today, I'm going to show you how to use the QLogic E joystick. So this is similar to the QLogic joystick, but this is a much more simplified version with more physical buttons. So I'm going to start with the simplest buttons. The first is the power button. All this will do is turn the chair on and off. The next button is the horn button. That controls your horn. That's all it does. So now I'm going to go over the display. Up top, you have your battery indicator. That means we have 67% of our battery life left in the chair. This is our profile right here. So we're in drive one. There's four of these in total. Drive one is the slowest. So this is kind of your indoor slow speed. So this maxes out around one and a half miles an hour. From here, I'm going to go over the mode button. So this will change your different modes. So we're in drive one right now. If I press mode, we're now in drive two. So this is kind of an indoor moderate speed. Top speed is maybe two and a half to three miles an hour. Drive three is an outdoor moderate. And then finally drive four will be your fastest speed. This will be the six miles an hour on your quantum power chair. If I keep pressing mode, we get to the setting menu, which I'm going to cover later in the video. If I press mode again, I'm now in the function menu. So this function menu controls if you have a seat lift or a tilt, recline, or legs on your chair. You would do that through this menu. I will also cover that in the future in this video. But no matter where you are in this joystick, uh, this joystick can get a little confusing to operate. So if you ever get lost and you're not sure where you are, just press mode. It'll, st it'll take you back to where you want to go. See? So from here, I'm going to cover some of the other buttons. So let me go to drive one. So we have three buttons up here. So these buttons control the speed within the profile. So drive one, the top speed is maybe one and a half miles an hour. And this orange bar is completely covered in orange, meaning if we push the joystick forward, we will go one and a half miles an hour. Now I can decrease this through this little minus button here with this button here. So I can decrease the speed of drive one. So now the chair will only go maybe half a mile an hour. Then I can increase it over here. So maybe it'll go about one mile an hour here. Now we're back to the full speed within this profile. I can do the same thing to drive two, three, or four. So now, see everything is orange. Drive four is our fastest profile. So I will go six miles an hour if I push the joystick all the way forward, but I can decrease that. This will go about three miles an hour so on and so forth. You can do that with each profile individually. Now the center button, it's got a little picture of a wheelchair. This will take you to the function menu, which again I'm going to cover in just a second. And now we're in the function menu again. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to the drive. The only other thing we can do is this button right here with the four lines changes these three. So if I press that Instead of increasing the speed or going to the function menu, I now can go to the setting menu with this button. I can go to a home screen with this button, or I can go to the Bluetooth screen with this button. And there are other ways to access this. But for now, I'm going to press the home button. This is what the home button looks like. From here, I can use the joystick to navigate. If I go to the right, it'll go to the function menu. If I press the home button again, see we're back where we just were. If I go up, we're back to the drive. And if I press the home button again and I go to the left, we're in the setting menu. Let me go back. So now I want to cover the function menu. So this is how you control your seat lift, your tilt, recline, or legs in your chair. You see a picture of your power chair here. So right now I have the back and the seat elevated. This would be your electric tilt. So if I push the joystick backwards, my chair will start tilting backwards. If I push the joystick forwards, my chair will start tilting forwards. Now if I go left or right with the joystick, I can cycle through the functions. So now just the back is highlighted. This would be your recline. So now if I push back, only the back will go, not the seat. So I only have tilt and recline on this chair. If you had seat lift, it would be just the seat would be highlighted. 
And if you had electric legs, the legs would be highlighted in orange. And you would control them the same way. So that's your function menu. And now I'm going to go over the setting menu. This is probably the more confusing one to operate. So right now, this is how you control your settings of your chair. I can cycle through what I want to do. So this is settings. If I go to the left or the right, this is Bluetooth. This is information of the chair, and I will cover all these in a little bit. Then this is more information, and now we're back to settings. So let's say I want to edit settings on the chair. I will push the joystick up. So this would be the brightness. So if I want to make the chair brighter, I would push the joystick up. If I want to make the screen dimmer, I can push or I can hold it down. You can see the joystick getting dimmer. So I'm going to go back up to bright so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So now I can cycle left or right to edit other settings. This is your horn volume. So right now the horn is at the lowest volume. If I go up, I can make the horn louder. And then to make it softer, I can go back down. So next, I'm going to cycle again. This is chair volume. If your chair has any sounds when pressing buttons, you can edit how loud the sounds are. And if I go again, I'm back to brightness. So that's all I can do in the setting menu. Now, there's not a way to get out of this uh, through your joystick, so you would just have to press your mode again. And now that takes you back to the setting menu. So let's cover the other settings. So there's Bluetooth. If you want to engage Bluetooth, just push your joystick up. Then you can push it up again, and now we're back. I'm going to go to the right again. This is information on your chair. If you want to see chair information, push up. You can see the serial number right up here. If I push up again, I can get some more information. And if I push up again, I'm back to where I was. If I cycle to the right again, more chair information. And I'm back. And that was uh, every setting that you can do in the chair. But again, if you get lost in these menus, it can be a little confusing. Just press mode and you can get back to either your function menu or your driving profiles. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.